Alright guys, so we're about to open up the Thunderlands Mint Pass Uncommon that we got for the DLA Dow. We're supposed to get 4 Sword, 4 Armor, and this is going to be able to not only add to the mining for the Dow from the Thunderlands mining mini game at the moment you can see the Dow's already earned 2,000 crystals which is convertible to the tender token this these weapons will also up that amount if you put them with that miner these also will be lendable by the Dow as well this is the uncommon so they have a common version and uncommon and then a rare and like a legend they have four of them right um, yeah, there's actually a bunch of them. Let's see, let's, let's click back here real quick and we'll look at that. Yeah, so... Yeah, these were the four that we were looking at before. Yeah. And if the comma, this is not like $15,000 or whatever. The It's only where the comma is, is how much USDT. So this was a $80 USDT uh, acquisition by the Dow. So not a very big acquisition. But we wanted to dip our toes in because this game has a lot of potential and it's on polygon which gives us more exposure so yeah this will this will be the second one that we've kind of dipped into a little bit for the polygon so we got a couple on solana yeah yeah well our, yeah we got yeah, we're, we're looking at three out. on solana well. so yeah three <laughs> that's what we're trying to branch out a little bit but yeah here's the this is another one that was a thunder pass random rarity where you can pay 170 and you know maybe you get the same uncommon for 80 or maybe you get lucky and hit one of these higher ones who knows and then there's also mint passes probably the lower one yeah get out of here guy but there's also mint passes for these uh basically manufacturers i think so this is like uh a hundred dollar usdt which is something i've been personally watching for the dow but you receive a mine capable of mining 83 tender per day 30,000 tender per year. The doors will work tirelessly. So, depending on what, you know, what 30,000 per year at, at the current price of tender is not a whole lot. But if that price goes up and you're doing, you know, the, we're, we've got the mine earning at least 83 tender per day for the Dow, or if you're personally doing this as well, like, yeah, there's a lot, a lot to this. And they sold out of mystery boxes. Um, so, but yeah, that's all the different options. They have quite a bit. Now, there's going to be lands too. This is, I think, yeah, this is just the manufacturing. So, uh, 100 bucks for that one. The Crystal Quarry Mint Pass. Uh, that's a ca mine capable of 249 tender per day. So, that's 90,000 tender per year. And then the big one for $500, you'll be making 151,000 tender. Uh, a per year TNDR Thunder Token so <laughs> there's one thing I like about this they're pretty open to what you're going to be making uh, on all of that but yeah let's pop this bad boy open you got any thoughts on that I don't know if you've know, known about that yet that yeah I, I, we, I didn't look at the these uh, passes and like read the description on it cause it's very they're very uh, open with how they're how it's going to work yeah yeah it'd be sure. interesting to see how that matches up with this in the land so yeah just probably end up taking more time into yeah, actually yeah. look deeper we, into this exactly. project we so. just haven't had enough time to research because we've been focused on the evi pro evi program with the success we've seen and everybody the clan doing such a great job getting in the top 10 off of you know the first three days of being officially ranked and having a, not a full not even a fully deployed squad <laughs> only like 10 people earning so yeah it's been it's been a cool thing a nice blessing on the evio program but it has put us a little tight on time for sure for looking at other things but yeah let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open i've been excited to see what this is gonna what kind of weapons we're gonna get here out of this because that's what we're getting four swords for our armor so let's get it going see what we got What's going on here? Oh, there it goes. Okay. I'm not used to Polygon. Way more... Way used to Kepler and the Cosmos. Boy, they're hitting us with a lot of little tiny Matic fees. That's why, I'm, that's why I love Adam and the Cosmos ecosystem. Oh, here we go. Oh, that was epic. Look at here. What do we got? 
So we got old sword and horn knight armor. Let's see, collect all. Okay, now what do we have here? So a simple reliable sword is equally good for training and chopping heads. <laughs> all right, that's cool. Uh, so we got. Yeah, so it makes an extra 17 tender per week. Oh, nice. And then one of the other things too, you can add this to the mint, or to my uh, not the mint to the miner, or you can stake your weapons. So now we can stake these. I'm not sure. Oh, I actually don't want to do that yet because we, you know, I don't know exactly if these are going to be better for staking or better for. So seven days, that's not bad. That's a pretty easy lock it, lockdown period. I, I really don't like long lock periods in gaming stuff. We have two yeah, options. Yeah, click on one of the, the oh, also, armor Also, I'm to see if uh, this, no, the lending program is not up yet. It doesn't look like. That looks at the, the oh, you did say lending program. Yeah, they, they're they going to have their own built-in lending program. Yeah, they got program. the tab ready for it, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, where's the, let's see what else we got. Let's see if there's any difference, or all these swords the same. 17.5. So it's the same there? I imagine they're probably the same, but it's interesting how we have four of them, though. Well, it said we get four swords and four armor. <laughs> yeah, that's the same, too. Now, from a little bit of the research I have done, I think you can craft these swords up from things in-game to make better weapons and armor. Yeah, so those are 17.5 as well. So, basically, so does it do any of those weapons or armor change the... The mining. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Let okay. me pop up the the mining right quick here, and we'll see if we can equip them in there and see how this works. Cause I have not done that either. Love this loading screen. Now this miner is free to download too. This game. So right here we should be able to equip those weapons it may not let me because we're already in a auto mind it's oh, not, okay it's so we got six grinding. minutes left on that yeah so okay we might have to check back in six minutes because it's not letting me click on these spots it should allow me to put them in here for my understanding right, cause it's already mining right now yeah i think that's what it is so and then you can also i did upgrade the dial mine for some bodybuilding to increase maximum energy by five percent don't know exactly what is going on here with these mine upgrades because they're weird like that one says increased weapon damage so the i mean if you go into the into the actual mine maybe we'll take a look at it after the auto mine uh, is finished you actually it's just a simple clicker game where you're just going through and fighting you're not even really fighting the thing you're just clicking on them and doing damage to them so i guess the more you upgrade your mines and then using these weapons and armor the faster you could get through that mining that clicker clicker miner to earn more rewards because you earn uh that's where these tokens are coming from these are the gold tokens they're just the in-game currency and then that's where the crystals come from both this has all been from auto mining so we may you know we got two thousand of these gold tokens so we could definitely be increasing some things here but more more time needed more time needed pop that down so yeah all these are the same let's see what they're going for on the market see what value we got because we paid 80 in usdt so we've got old swords looks like what is this the sort by lowest bid so 2500 tender for an old sword which is not really that much in u.s dollar terms because what is it what is 10 dr yes yeah, a little less than half a penny so 2500 uh is 100 so about 25 bucks does that sound right 
So if that's the case, let's see if I can make it show the USD price if it shows it. 2000. Okay, that okay. So that does say staking info. So I'm curious to see then if this is the staking amount. Then what? How much does it earn when you're not staking it and you've got it in the mint? Yeah, and just like touching base on the token itself, like from from just like an aspect of from when the coin is launched, it has a very unique setup. In terms of if we were to get a increase in price it would be very interesting to see how it pans out mm -hmm. yeah I mean it's, it's a new it's a whole new game new token I don't want to I don't want to confuse anybody on any charting or just like tokenomics of like the supply and the price of the token itself I'm not here to promise anything but I would say that um, I mean, the idea of being able to just do nothing and and acquire this token based off of the stuff that you have in the game, and then you add in a potential lending program with it, where uh, people that may not be able to afford like the pass, or they can easily get it lended out to them, so that they're able to basically play the game in a sense and earn ten or thunder tokens. So it's it's pretty pretty unique setup that they have going for sure. Yeah, and the. The full game is actually like like um, we were looking at those manufacturing mint passes. The full game when it comes out is completely open world, so it's gonna be real crazy when they start adding in those actual. And I mean, we've been seeing a lot land. of other uh, we've been seeing a lot of other NFT games start having these updates and they're adding new stuff constantly. All the time. And, all the time. Multiple, multiple ones. I mean, even if we're just talking about the Harvest, Harvest is launching their actual game through Steam. Like that's that's a big accomplishment yeah, itself. For sure. God, they just added daily play to earn. <laughs> EV. They announced a lot of information in terms of what they're looking to do going into the future. I mean, all of it, all of it's pretty crazy. So look at that. We actually that is awesome. So it ended. So we got 500 more of those gold tokens and 500 more crystals. All right, so let's take these. Okay, now let's see if we can click these on. No. Check box, maybe go and check the, or you can maybe try uh, reloading the game, because. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, we, have, we haven't done that since we opened up the pass. Try and go to the auto mine itself and check box to the longer time frame one. Uh, I guess that only just for starting the mine, huh? Yeah. Click the enter so, mine. What's the enter mine? Well, yeah, mean? this is the actual clicker. So I don't know if you've even seen this yet, or if you've even had a chance to play I, this. I did a little bit. I think I was uh, busy with something at the time. So in the inventory, is there a spot where you can equip that's, the weapons? So maybe that's why they're not popping up because they're not equipped. That's what I'm wondering myself. Uh, so there's a skill tree too. This is very interesting for the miner. This actually makes it a little bit more fun because even though you're doing click damage, uh, you, you can level up these skill trees. And like this fire rune is the only thing I've gotten to, but it was pretty nice. I mean, they don't really do any damage. You just click them, and you, you can really literally click anywhere on the screen in this little mini game. But yeah, I need to figure out how to equip those weapons. Or maybe that was going to be there. Or maybe the weapons are just for the staking. Maybe it's maybe that's not. There's for, different oh, weapons. Well, maybe there's different weapons for the. That mine. may be why they have the staking right now is because uh, they don't have it where you can use them in the mines yet. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, we will have to go explore the uh, staking the weapons for sure too. And see what that's all about. Oh, look at that. It's got a bunch of tokens. I hadn't seen one actually drop tokens before. Did you pick up all those tokens? I'm pretty sure did I did, have, yeah. Did you have to pick those up? Well, at the, at, when I leave the mine, it should show those rewards. Everything you collect will show, because you're, you're supposed to be able to also get whitelist and mint passes and stuff in here. Like, it's rare. But, uh, yeah, this is if you act... I, supposedly, it'll work with the auto miner, but I don't know if that's true or not. You know, if anybody knows, let us know, but let's see. Okay. Yeah, so now I've got this fire rune. So now with the fire rune, 
You see, it clicks automatically three times per second during 10 seconds and cl uh, click damage twice during effect. So you let it go, bam, bam, bam. Fire rooting him. I'm not clicking anything. You click while that's going? It'll mess up the combo. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you this next time. I'll do the same thing. Because it doesn't take long to reload this little mana thing. But I did look, I did add to my click damage over on this passive. So it increases click damage by 50% for each level. So as soon as I level up again on the skill tree, I'll be able to do some more damage there. Let's go ahead and hit it with that. And it also increased the uh, fire rune as well. Yeah, dance, Rhino. <laughs> he doesn't look great to me. Now, one thing about this, if you're looking at this, you're like, oh, these graphics aren't bad. This is an Unreal Engine 4. They just announced they are upgrading to Unreal Engine 5. So these graphics are going to get a lot better. Oh, what is happening here? This I've never seen this before. What am I supposed to do? You must have to pick a direction. Oh, okay. Oh, what is that? I think I picked the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah. Standing right in the middle. Can I get holding the path? Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that fire rune's really whacking him. So I mean, like, yeah, it, it's just a clicker. It's not anything like super crazy, but it is a pretty cool little mini game to start out with. When this becomes completely launched open world and you've got this stuff going on in the mines and I'm sure at that point the mines or whatever these things will probably attack this game's just in very very early stages at the moment oh man you're building up yeah I might even end up playing this tonight yeah, so I just got this fire just oh wow stuff. it actually set him on fire that's pretty cool can I do both at the same time oh I can all right, now that's pretty cool. I, that's pretty cool. He's. I'm gonna click too now. Come on. So yeah, the thing it looks like the key is just kind of leveling up these extra skills. I mean, when you get six of them, so now seeing two of them in action, that's pretty cool. That one is slower. You can see that mana cost takes a lot longer to build up. But yeah, after this guy, we'll leave the mine and see what we collected and. I want to see that fire thing one more time of the little one but yeah it's definitely one that I'm very interested in doing, doing a lot more research on like the whole land aspect when we started this doubt that was like our primary focus and then like the lending programs we were thinking about that and land staking all that but these lending programs are just so good at helping people you can't, you know, afford to get these expensive NFTs. I think, like, looking off, off course of just the DLA DAO in general, j and focusing just on the NFT games. I mean, think of the market that has no idea about any of this. Oh stuff. yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, there's so much untapped market in this entire industry, and just, you know, being one of the early players to really be able to branch off into all these different chains is something definitely unique oh yeah it's great i love it like it tickles my gamer side to be like this whole new technology oh wow look how cool he looks see when this gets in um unreal engine 5 this is gonna look really really good really good at like sending you to the next one yeah so and it's see. just like, all right, I'm going to kill this guy. Final progress will not be saved. Okay, so how do I get out of this thing without mixing it up? I was just saying that, like, the next time you enter the mine, you're not going to enter right here. Oh, no, definitely not. I uh, only, I've only did this one other time, and I never saw any of this part of the mine. I was fight, And, uh, in fact, uh, there's a tutorial mode that you start with, and I fought... <laughs> Rhinoceros is in the same area. Like I didn't even know the mines looked different. Like this is all, this is like all these mushrooms and crystals and stuff. That's totally different from the way it looked. You know, in the beginning, I didn't know none of this existed till this. We started doing this right now. Oh, I messed that one up. All right, whatever. Well, like I said, one thing that might be a little trick is something like clicking down here close to your runes and stuff so that way you can just click them I don't know I didn't do much but, I mean like I said you can click anywhere on the screen stocks and chomps was saying the 
in the uh, Royan area was the best place. She was fighting the click, but uh, <laughs> that's our HR developer. <laughs> All right, come on, hurry up and die. I want to figure out how to get out of this mine. I guess I have to. I think I could have got out maybe in that one screen where it was showing me, it gave me options. Which direction? Yeah. I think you can uh, just get out whenever you want. I think it's just telling you, and I didn't see the full message. I think it's just telling you that, hey, if you leave the mine and you come back to the mine. This says current progress will not be saved. Yeah, so it's just saying that next time you come to the mine. Yeah, I didn't get any crystals or card parts. Yeah, the card parts, that's something... Um, like you get enough card parts it'll make a sword or a weapon or I think that's where also the crafting can come in to make better swords and armor so okay yeah okay I did get a little hundred there or no I didn't get any hundred that's what we had before there no but it said the 80 before didn't it yeah so we should have got that right here so that's what I was saying because we did not save the progress or whatever we didn't collect any rewards that should have went up um but anyway, we'll we'll probably do some more experimenting with this. We're definitely going to be covering this game more and looking into it. Let's check out how this staking works since we can't stake them. Or we can't use the stake them to the mine. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. We already have a mint pass. Let's see. Add the stake. Uh, new address click. There we go. Confirm. So, what do you think? We should just go ahead and stake all of these for now since we can't really use them. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. There we go. Okay, let's see. Farming tender. Add farm. Is this LP tokens? Oh, what is this? It looks like a resource. So, that's farming P tender. Okay. Farming tender. Your mind's on farming. Wow, this is a whole other element to this now. Where you can farm. <laughs> okay. Let's see if this staking worked here. Yep, there we go. Staking now. NFTs and stake. Staking time. So, yeah. Should, I mean, that was a lot to add these. So, we just go ahead and... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe this gaming tab is where you equip it. Ah... Ah, ah, boy, good thing this okay, is on there. Did you figure that. something out? Yeah, I fig I think I figured out how to. Um, and then you already started that staker or the miner, or you were wait holding off on that still. I started one of the staking positions on one sword, but then I just realized something on this gaming tab. I think this is how you put them into the miner. Yeah, so that sword is in game now, so let's go open this up again and see if that's equipped. Oh, where'd you equip those at? I missed that part. That was the, it's in the staking tab. Oh, okay. The, it, said, it said, well, it's one of the tabs in the staking tab on the side. So it's not showing the sword there yet. Let's um, quit game, log out, and re-log back in. Anytime you're dealing with, I'm going to take this off screen real quick. Anytime you're dealing with blockchain stuff, the front end UI is always going to be a little bit behind and it's better to just refresh or log out and log back in if you're having any issues. That's just a little pro tip there to save you a lot of time and headache of being confused to why. Yeah, even the way. short amount of time that I've been involved with some of this stuff, I can definitely testify to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the problems on blockchain are usually not as bad as you think they are. When it, when things happen, it's usually not that big a deal. It's usually just the UI being stupid. No, so it's still not putting that in there. Let me pop this back up again. Hmm. Oh, equip. Equip weapon. Okay. Is it equipped? If I just click on that, let's see. Oh, there we go. All right, now let's see if it's in here. We're doing science. Probably documentation we could read, but that's okay. I like to click around and learn the hard way. 
Oh, yep, there it is. I figured it out. The sword is now in the mine. So let's, let's just take a quick little gander here and see how much more damage that sword does. And let's see if this shows up in my hand. That's what I've been curious about, if you actually see the sword in the game. Because that would really add a, another level to this clicker. I was definitely doing more damage. 7 and 13. That little old sword has made a big difference. But you still don't get to see it. Let's see. So real quick, I'm going to try to figure out if we can get out of the mine without. So back to main menu. Current progress will now be saved. So I'm wondering where it's saving at. Oh, and also if you go to the settings right now, like if you don't like the graphics you put up to ultra it will be better but you're going to need a high graphics card like if it's not if you don't have a good enough graphics card this will probably be real glitchy would be my guess yeah that sword's doing some work that definitely makes this clicker a lot faster so i guess if you would get like uh so okay there was two of those tokens now how do we get out of here with those tokens that's the question you have to maybe reach like a checkpoint like when the first time when you did it did you like have to reach like a certain area because you said that you like you uh got rewarded something one time how did, do you remember no no i've only gotten rewarded um from the auto miner i barely the first time i played this and checked it out i barely uh, went through i just fought a bunch of rhinos and um stock muncher was on with me she was trying it out on her side i think you were on that call with us too but you were yeah you were doing so. something the io but we were looking at it and she went she went way further in there so we may have to uh on the next video about this we might have to get her on a call and let her tell us her experience because she played way more than i did she may still be playing i don't know she, I, I guarantee she's got the auto miner running at least <laughs> God, i don't want to go mm, through why all wouldn't this. you all right well that's something we'll figure out later i'm not going to go through all this again for a see those gold tokens let's see if they're showing up now from that previous match no i'm still showing 20 too far. Why does it say your rewards is 152 now? Ah, oh, so with that sword, we earned some crystals. So we did get something. Go to the, hop over to the other, like, in the auto mine and click the other side and see if it gives you more. Yeah, you can see it already. Oh, yeah, there it is. Just There's having your the boost sword right equip. there. Okay, so let's go ahead and equip one of those armors to this, too. Let's get this thing really rolling here. There's that thing. I don't need to even pop out of this. I don't know how to do this. So, armor. So first you have to, so this is how you equip it. This is the two-step process. You got to take the armor here from the gaming tab and confirm it over into here. It's, you're going to have to go through a bunch of these prompts and pay little bits of Matic. Confirm. Oh, I think I already did that. Maybe I'm confirming too much. I'm not going to click confirm yet. Your permission to access. Oh, yeah, maybe I do need to. Um, okay. Oh. Yeah, there it goes. And you're going to want to upgrade some of your mine upgrades, too. I would just keep sp spending those as much as you can. This is the Dow. This is not. This is the Dow's mine, so I'm trying to get it boosted and stuff now that I got a little bit more time since the Discord's pretty much. The Discord and all the other big things are fixed. Okay, I may just be clicking confirm too many times. Let me click over here. Nope, the armor's not over there yet. So, okay, I got two prompts. Two more prompts, it looks like. So maybe not, and maybe it's not. Okay, wait, hold on. You have one pending transaction. Okay, let's let that go through. So one of these mine upgrades is a boss timer. So I bet that is oh, where the is crystals now. actually come in, come intact. Well, there's well, 
the boss has got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff you can earn. And I've not seen the boss, but Stonks and Stonk Munchers was saying she right uh, into a couple bosses. So I don't know exactly what she got, but that's the whole process. Now the armor's in there. It should show. Um, it's, it's on, so it should show in the game now. We'll probably have to re uh, quit the game and come back in here. Nope, it's in there. So now let's look at that out of mine. Wow. For 18 hours, 1,520 crystals, which, like we said, is convertible. Well, actually, I don't I want to do that right now because I'm, I'm going to hop in this game. I'm going to put it on an hour and a half, and then later tonight I may grind a little bit on it and see what all it does. See what I can do for the Dow here. So you're saying spend all these gold tokens on upgrading the mine? Yeah, just, uh, you can space them out. I didn't know that I was using those crystals. I probably should have just not forcefully used all of them on the bodybuilding. <laughs> oh, you, it's not the crystals. It's the gold tokens. It's the gold tokens, yeah. yes. Yeah. It's not the crystals. Oh, right here. Last journey results. It is saving it. So there was that one part. Oh, I did get a part of something. I don't know what that part is for. It says part compiled. I don't see any parts up here. But it does show two monsters killed. Okay. So let's see. Increased mana. So that'd be pretty good for making those. Increase amount of energy stored. Let's see. The thousand one increased weapon damage. Well, yeah, if you're going to be mining with a weapon on, that would seem like a good idea. Let's do a little bit. Or which of, one? The thousand one. Oh yeah, increase weapon damage by, yeah. That's the one I wish I probably just bought one of. Yeah, I got five of the down. energy one. Oh so yeah, that the next one's three thousand. My God. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then see. Let's, All right. Let's upgrade my, that. My one. headset's gonna die. This is pretty interesting. What what did that boost this stuff up to when you put the chain body on? Oh, uh, what's the? What was the? Uh, the, the higher time frame one too well it's mining right now so we'll have to check it later <laughs> did you like check it before you started this one yeah it was it was um i forgot <laughs> over a thousand or no oh yeah yeah for the, tw the 18 hours yeah it was 1600 crystals <laughs> yeah Okay, that is what I like to see. That is great information. Yeah. My head's just gonna die. Dog needs to. Oh yeah, me out. too. I gotta get one or two guys. Good Hope stream. You. I appreciate you having me on for that. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Past. I'm might be interested in buying one here tonight and fucking around with the game a little bit. So we'll we'll see how it goes. Yeah, but, for sure. All right, I'll catch you later. All right, see ya. All right, Rooster, you guys. Haven't talked to him. Hit him up in the DLA Discord. You can go find the link to the Discord in the description below. And we are covering all types of PDE games and trying to offer opportunities to players all around the world of all walks of life for zero cost to them. So every player out there has the same chance to earn and compete. And there's not just wells running everything.